Hi, welcome to day six of Slow T101. So today we'll tell you more about what is poor. So we've been drinking it, but what is that? So a definition of poor is the tea that comes from Yunnan, which is the southernmost province in China. However, uh, tea doesn't care about borders, and so some of it, some of those trees ended up in Thailand, Myanmar, Laos. Uh, and the fact that we're drinking, one of the teas we drink is called Guogan, which is in Myanmar. Processed in the same way, and the same kind of trees. Uh, but, you know, is it poor or not? Depends who you ask. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, yes, it's poor. It's the same thing. So, for the last, before the 1970s, for the last at least 100 years before, uh, old tea was raw or Sheng. So, Sheng Puer, so this is uh, a theory which is about eight years aged. Sheng Puer is, uh, starts as a, something very similar to a green tea and then it ages more and more and gets darker and darker, depending on how, how much humidity and also to an extent temperature is stored at, uh, it will age faster or slower. And in the 70s, people invented what is called show pour or cooked pour, which is basically a process of accelerated fermentation over 30 to 60 days usually. So a show pour looks like this. The leaves are much darker. And uh, actually, let me show you again. Yeah, leaves are much darker. Now, the quality of show pour is not exactly the same as aged, as really aged uh, sheng pour. It cannot be, uh, they've not found a way to, you know, cheat nature in such a way. Uh, 60 years cannot be shorter than 60 days. However, it's kind of its own category of poor. And, you know, it's very pleasant for what it is. To start with, show poor is much gentler on the stomach. It's uh, much more calming. It's darker, it tends to be thicker and richer. While shampooer, particularly young shampooer, tends to be much more energetic, have quite a lot more flavors going on and quite a lot more complexity. And then aged shampoo really is the best of all. But there's one little caveat here, which is that only in the last 20 or so years, people started doing what is called old tree poor. Well, there was old tree poor between the 70s as well, but those teas are so rare that they're very, very hard to find. The prices are astronomical. Um, but yeah, between in the 80s and the 90s, and um, also the early 2000s, there wasn't much old tree poor, but there is today. We'll get a little bit into that later. But for now, let me introduce you uh, the tea of today. So this is our mini cake. This is 7 grams, uh, so this comes from the mini tong. Um, you can split it up in two. Uh, I already have uh, split up from before, so I'm just going to use that. Um, this one is quite compressed, so you do want to uh, have quite a few chunks. And also because it contains shopware, we are definitely gonna uh, have a rinse for this tea. So I switch back to the flask, uh, flask or side or kettle, doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm gonna give this one a good rinse, uh, both, you know, both because there's shopware and also because the tea is quite compressed, so I wanted to open up. This. Now, this cake is a blend of Shang and Shou um, because Shang, uh, very young Shang, so this is from mid 2003, very young Shang can be a little too um, strong. You know, like the flavors can be quite astringent. I mean, extremely high quality will not have that problem, but you know, this uh, even good quality Shang can be a little bit strong at first, particularly if you've not been eating, if you're not so used to like really, really powerful tea. And so that is why we mix it. We blend it with Shang and Shou. So we get both the, you know, meditative energy power of Shang Puer and some of the richness of Shou Puer as well. Okay, so this was my rinse. Let's see how this goes. And when you look at the leaves, of this tea, you will see very, very clearly that some leaves are very green and some leaves are very dark, and you can tell that it's a blend of Shang and Shou very clearly. Uh, so from the color, it looked like it was starting to open up. So I can probably have a relatively quick steep. Yeah, I think this is still opening up. Um, it might look 
like this and it's gonna get darker as well. So we've seen the difference between uh, Sheng and Shou Pu'er and then, you know, there's this concept of all three Pu'er. Now, the reality is that the vast majority of tea, 99% more of Pu'er, even the one you find in very fancy shops, is still gonna be a plantation tea. But everybody says, oh, my tea is all three because that's more of a sign of quality. I, and at first you're not gonna know uh, who's telling it true and who isn't. So it's just very easy to just think, okay, this person says these trees are 300 years old, so I'm just gonna buy this tea. Or this person says this tea is from the 80s and I'm gonna buy that. And, you know, in Poor there's so many different fakes and very hard to identify teas. So, you know, age, uh, age of the tea, how long it's been stored, age of the tree, also which area, these trees are usually three things that are faked a lot. Now, at first it's gonna be hard for you to tell, uh, but you can use these teas that you've been drinking right now as a benchmark of quality, and you can really trust your experience and your mouth. Actually, when you brew, when you brew a tea in the same way, you will be able to tell. I mean, you, when you brew two different teas in the same way, uh, even when it's side by side or a day after the other, you will be able to tell what is quality. Um, Quality, provisionally, we can define it as, um, in some terms of taste, there is sweetness. The taste is not astringent or harsh in any other way. The trough is comfortable. And there is a lot of density of taste, and the taste remains in the mouth a lot. And in terms of chi, both is present and is also comfortable. Uh, so you can use this as your um, definition of quality for the time being. Um... And the teas we've been drinking right now, they're not beginner teas at all. Like these are really near, near the very top. I really wanted to use uh, very powerful teas to inspire you to practice because I think they, yeah, the tea really, really makes a difference. It's not just uh, our own wish and our own mindfulness, but the tea itself makes a difference. And that was all for your class today. I'll see you tomorrow.